Hey, this is Derek, and today I just wanted to ask you first up front, if you could please, if you find this posting or this video to be useful, make sure that you share it, um, either on Facebook, or you tweet it out, or you dig it, stumble upon, whatever you feel you can do to help get the word out, because I really do feel, as you might after reading this review, or this um, this quick little article about the plugins for your WordPress blog, um, it, I think it would really help other people if you were to share this out. Obviously, that's why I created this. Uh, more importantly, the reason why I did is because I have teammates that actually requested this information. So if you could please go ahead and get this information out there for people to go ahead and start coming here or b basically look at this posting for quick answers and solutions for the blog uh, for the blog and the plugin. So let's go ahead and go right through it. Now I've categorized some of these in specific detail to what they apply to. So obviously there's mandatory ones. Akismet is actually inside of your blog usually when you install it right off the bat. So the good news is that's already there. All-in-one SEO pack is definitely important for you if you are looking to obviously rank organically on search engines. It's one of the best tools. It's helped me to get the vast number, the thousands and thousands of people that come and look at my website on a regular basis. It's the tool I use. Pop-up domination. This will help you to generate leads um, if you are using your blog as a lead generation source. And then the W3 Total Cache. So, um, you know, there's a small little description of what they do here, but right now I'm going to show you exactly what to do to add this to your blog. So, as you can tell, the first four in mandatory are all hyperlinked. So, you can actually go to the site and download it itself. But fortunately, inside of WordPress, you can actually, it's got functionality inside of WordPress that allows you to basically search. Um, the entire, well, for the most part, the majority of all the plugins inside of WordPress so that are available to WordPress, it'll allow you to search the database so you can actually download it. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, the first thing you want to do is obviously you want to drag. You can either click on the button, but I prefer you just drag, highlight, and then you just copy the text here for each one of these. And then you head into your back office here inside of WordPress and you want you to scroll down and you go down to where it says plugins okay once you click on plugins you'll be taken to another plugin menu now in here you're just gonna hit add new and then once you hit add new you're gonna go down to where the search box is and paste um, the highlighted uh, title or name for the plugin that I give you now here's a quick little note these titles or these names for the plugins are the exact name so here as I show you we're gonna go ahead and hit search plugins there's going to be quite a few options here okay but the one that you want to get is the one that's exactly matches the text so all in one SEO pack this is all you do all you have to do is instead of where it's saying is where it says installed um, for me because I already have installed it'll say install now as you can see the one right below it so you just click install now and when you do that I'll just walk you through the process you click install now you click OK yes I do want to install it and then once it's installed you hit activate plugin now some of these plugins will require you to go and get a you know a special key or maybe take an extra step but the good news is, is that it's very simple to do most of them actually um, you know show you how to do it and it's usually just one or two clicks or register here really quick and you're done so with that being said all you have to do to get all of these plugins is do exactly that the only one here that you can get right now is pop-up domination I'll show you what that looks like really quick but basically this takes you right to a sales page for pop-up domination now here's the thing I do have an affiliate account with pop-up domination I do have an affiliate account with pop-up domination so if you decide to go through that link obviously I'm gonna be compensated for it doesn't affect your price at all I just thought I'd throw it out there and let you know that uh, that would be much appreciated obviously it's not gonna cost you anything different so but the benefit is, is I actually use this and the good news is is you can actually see it or you probably have already seen it uh, pop up right in front of you while you're watching this video so uh, but the, the most important thing about pop-up domination this isn't a plug for it other than the fact that it's highly beneficial and it really does work and it makes your blog look really good and your opt-in form extremely professional so go through there's a whole bunch of great stuff inside of here um, you know these are all important you make sure you have all of your intelligence plugins I call them intelligence plugins uh, syndication is important this one's called share bar here on the left uh, another alternative to share bar is dig dig I like dig dig but I had a lot of problems with it. I operate on Chrome I don't know if it was something with my blog layout or uh, maybe my operating system or maybe even my browser I don't know but dig dig does pretty much the same thing this is modeled 
just after or just like um, what you would find on Mashable.com. That's where I started searching for it. I love this plugin, and uh, the one that works best for me is Share uh, Share Bar. Then you've got uh, better related posts. This allows people to stay on your website. You've got your media, smart YouTube. I prefer that one for video. Um, then obviously your follow-up stuff. This is important because it reminds people to come back and see your site again. And then your optional stuff is um, your grow map anti-spam ba uh, spam bot plugin. And this is important because it catches all the stuff that filters through for the most part through a kismet, which it basically filters out all the spam comments um, that hit your post on a regular basis. So go ahead, copy all of this text here. Just like I showed you, head back into your, your plugin install area or go down and search for it by going down to plugins, add new, and paste it inside the little search plugins bar. Find the exact one, download it, uh, and then obviously activate it, and then start using it. All these plugins are highly beneficial. I strongly recommend them. This is Derek Erigwin signing off. Hope you get a lot of value from those plugins and this posting. Make sure to share. Take care. Bye.